Good evening, citizens. Welcome back to Batman Arkham City. Last time, we, uh... Did a little bit of side questing. We finally figured out the identity of our mysterious Watcher in the Wings. And, uh, then we kicked around the Mad Hatter a little bit, because, well, someone has to, right? And if you, uh, look back where we took our, uh, supposedly supposed cure, uh... There was never a... a little thing delivered here by the, uh, by the Batwing at all. Looks like, uh, the Mad Hatter had us set up for a tea party from the start. Which, uh, goes to show that maybe, uh, he's more of a threat than most people give him credit for. But I guess that's one of the things I really like about this game is... Well, who the hell would have expected a, uh, Mad Hatter boss fight? Still, with that out of the way, it looks like the only cure we're getting is from the Joker's cold, angry fingers. So, uh, we'd best make our way over to the steel mill and, uh, see what we can get. I'm going to grab a few trophies on the way there just because, well, they're conveniently on the way there. But, uh, otherwise this isn't going to be too, uh, too much sidetracking. Maybe, maybe another five minutes or so and we'll be inside the steel mill, so... I do want to get one, uh, one more Riddler physical challenge that I've been kind of, uh, I just haven't gotten yet. Basically, uh, what the game wants you to do is do a 50-foot uh, vertical dive. I got really close to it when I did this uh, Riddler trophy way over here, where you had to uh, dive down to the dive bomb. But I lost a little bit too much height, but if you go down pretty much right here, just avoid that outcropping. That's fairly easy. As for upgrades, there's not really too much we need to grab in the way of real upgrades. Uh, there's only one more gadget we're going to get, and that is a actual thing we pick up, not something we can upgrade. So, at this point, really all I have left is to get the, uh, to get the health upgrades. Luckily, there's uh, one more trophy over here. It's pretty easy to grab. Uh, if you glide over here from where I had so much trouble stepping on things earlier, uh, there is a little cage here. And basically what this cage does, it's one of those, uh, it's almost like a shell game. One of these question marks lights up, and then all of them light up, and they spin around in a circle. You basically just have to follow the birdie. I thought I lost it, but it turns out I didn't. So I had better eyes than I thought. Anyway, uh, most of the snipers that were here the first time around are still taken out. Uh, they'll come back eventually. But there are two snipers watching this back door. Really coming? Oh, Batman? Of course he is. Nah, I reckon Freeze got him. He's stuck in a block of ice about now. Really? Yeah, Freeze must be pretty pissed, right? I mean, Joker stole his wife, threatened to pull the plug? No way was Freeze gonna forget that. How the hell do you know that? Joker had me drag Freeze's lady to a van. No idea where she ended up. Did you see what she looked like? Is she hot? She's in a block of ice. If you thought her out, would she be hot? The way I understand it, if she thaws out, she's dead. But to answer your question, yeah, she's kind of good looking in a near dead, frozen sort of way, I guess. Nice. What's wrong with you? There ain't nothing wrong with me. I've just been stuck in Oh, one man down. It's looking like a rerun of last time. You heard the boss. Luckily, all these thugs are, uh, if you get them just right, they're pretty easy to take out. Mostly because, well, they're just so piecemeal split up that they don't really stand much of a chance. Someone was missing in there. All cameras locked down in sector four. Joker. These last three kind of caught me by surprise. Uh, if I'd been a little bit faster, I may have been able to toss a smoke pellet at all of them. But uh, I'm used to actually two of those guys guarding the door and one person going out. So that's different. The smoke pellet's probably the best way to take care of that just because it, uh, well, nothing they can really do about it. They can't see through smoke because they don't have any night vision goggles. But we can use this, take one of these guys out, and then, uh, take the other guy out as well. I ain't scared. Only one thug left. He should be pretty easy pickings. Oh, 
there was a trophy behind there but it turns out I'm uh, completely wrong there are uh, there are a couple things out there on the water but we'll be coming back for those in the post game because once we go in this door we're pretty much locked into uh, we're pretty much on track for the ending now whatever you know anything about protocol 10 sounds scary yeah I was on the phone with professor strange yesterday and he told me what it is really what is it you as stupid as you look. Why would I be calling the guy who runs this place? I thought he called you. Don't talk to me. Just stand still and try not to fall over. Understand? This is the first time the game really wants us to use the quick fire freeze blast. It's pretty effective for taking a guy out of the fight for a good amount of time. They just kind of uh, get all frozen there and not a damn thing they can do about it. But that's another challenge, is to uh, freeze somebody and then knock them down with a battering. So, well, that's one thing out of the way. We're still blowing up Harley heads as we go through, and this is also the last Titan container. Now that all the Titan containers are destroyed, I should go back to Bane and see how he's doing. If you really want to, you can leave to go talk to Bane now. But, well... I'm a very important person with many things to do, and I have no time to go and talk to some write-it-up freak. One trophy over here just requires you to uh, hack the panel, and then you can pick it up the back claw and continue on your merry way. So I think uh, this is the first time the game really makes you use the ice rafts. Uh, it's the only way to get under this low overhang. I just heard from my dad. He's been summoned to City Hall. Strange is requesting that Emergency Protocol 10 is activated. Does Gordon know what Protocol 10 is? Just that it's the worst case security measure. Strange told the High Council he had failed to stem the use of illegal weapons within the prison. Weapons he provided. This was his plan all along. It certainly looks that way. He made it sound like the inmates were planning a mass escape and attack on Gotham. I'll keep you posted. Did you see the Joker just now? Yeah, he looked okay, didn't he? Yeah, how the hell did that happen? I saw him yesterday, he looked like poison crap. Today? All oh, good. So did he find the cure or what? Don't know. Last thing I heard was the doctors couldn't save me. Quinn even had me torture some lady doctor to find the cure. What did she say? Right up to the moment she died, she was still saying there was no cure. After that, not so much. Well, who cares? He's back. The Joker's back. Of course, wherever the Joker comes back, the Batman will be sure to follow. So, uh, let's introduce these henchmen to that little bit of wisdom. <laughs> these thugs can be a bit tricky. There are two gun cases, one next to this armored thug, and he's down. The other one's in that corner. So if you're uh, if you're not too familiar with using quick fire weapons to uh, take them out before they get too far with those gun cases, you can find yourself in trouble pretty quick. But otherwise, it's nothing too difficult. with a quick update on what's going down here in Arkham City. As you can see, I'm looking much better. In fact, ooh, I think I'm looking better than ever. <laughs> oh, I can hear you all now. How did this happen? Can I get me some of that crazy cure? Ooh, I want answers, damn it, now! Well, here's the thing. Answers don't give you everlasting satisfaction. Sometimes you need to brace yourself for disappointment. Now think about it. 
Imagine your favorite TV show. You've been through it all. The ups, the downs, the crazy coincidences. And then bang! They tell you what it's all about. Would you be happy? Does it make sense? How come it all ended in a church? You guys just need to know one simple thing. I'm back. Back for good. Now arm yourself, boys. We've got a prison break to plan. No hostages, no surrender. I know, it sounds like suicide, but listen. Whatever happens, I'll be right behind you. Well, that's encouraging. There's a uh, poster up here on the wall for Boyle Cryogenics, which, as you may recall for some of the Mr. Freeze tapes, is... Uh, location he was working at for a while. Uh, Ferris Boyle was the uh, CEO of Gothcorp, and when Mr. Freeze tried to uh, well, use his experiments to freeze his wife Nora, well, Let Ferris Boyle didn't take too kindly on. to it. The Joker is winning. You and your boss are losing. Now, we want the Joker to keep winning, so you're gonna tell us everything we need to know about Two-Face's plans. You probably don't want to, I get that. So we're gonna have to convince you. Screw you! This one's still got some fight in him. I'm saying nothing! Sure you will. Listen. You can still hear me, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let me explain how this is gonna go down. I'm gonna drop you down into that pit. Now, down there, it's all kinds of hot. Last guy we lowered down there, he started melting before he even touched the hot stuff. You ever smelled melting flesh? No? No. Most people haven't. Let me paint you a picture. First, it smells like meat on a barbecue. You know, burning skin, fat, and meat. Then, it reaches the bones. That's the nasty bit. It sure was. Well, I guess it was all kinds of bad. Because he screamed pretty much up to the point we dropped him in. But who cares? You're gonna tell us what Two-Face is up to, right? Go to hell! You just don't give up, do you? You're gonna regret it. Batman! Batman! I don't actually know if this guy drops all the way in. Uh, he pretty much starts coming back up as soon as you take out all the guards. So, uh, I don't know. But obviously, we're not gonna leave him hanging. We're gonna we're gonna rescue him. You know, take him out of his predicament. And uh, he's gonna sit here. You know, obviously thankful we just saved him from certain death, right? Well, maybe not. Thugs, as capricious as they are, as soon as you turn your back, they will just try and punch you in the head. So you take the camera off them, turn back, and oh, oh, oh. See, so that's the thanks you get. Thugs are jerks. Always beat them up. Anyway, a couple things here, one of which is just opening up this uh, vent cover. Nothing we can do with it for now, but uh, we will be doing something with it before we leave this area for good. Blow open this wall, and we've got another water canal, but there's a few things to pick up here. Uh, one of which is we jump on this, look up, and there is a uh, Riddler trophy up in this little alcove here. It can be a little difficult to get back down, um, just because of the way the, uh, well, physics, but yeah. So you throw down another ice cube. And then, uh, if you look immediately over to your right in detective mode, you will see a Riddler puzzle for perspective. Now, it's kind of hard to see there, but the uh, dot is here on the wall. And uh, you notice a question mark in the background there. That one can actually be a little bit tough to uh, line up, and I'm kind of surprised I got it. But, uh, you know, I'll take what I can get. So... My uh, ice float actually got hit by that screw, but you'll notice that it didn't disappear. The ice floats can actually take, I want to say, two hits, and then on the third hit, the thing will break apart and you'll find yourself going down to the drink. So it's 
usually best stay as far, as far away from the screws as possible, but do what you can. The council members are coming back. They don't look happy. They're telling Strange that they're disappointed in him. That they never believed Protocol 10 would need to be activated. But they gave him permission, didn't they? Good evening. Protocol 10 will commence in 30 minutes. You all have specific orders for this situation. Follow them. Do you still need an answer? Bruce, I don't like this. Be careful. Sounds like Hugo Strange has been kind of planning out this Protocol 10 thing for some time. Uh, it is a citywide initiative, and, uh, well, sounds like Gotham's, foring, or Gotham's uh, city elders are falling for it hook, line, and sucker. Still, we do a little, of, uh, a little bit of battering going back and forth, and it leads us to a little bit more of this. There's a few things to grab on this particular ride. If you look up to the uh, top right, there's a vent cover up here that you can uh, drag off the wall. And if you hop up there, you will find yourself a uh, Riddler trophy. Because, how'd this guy get this here? Nobody knows. The Riddler's probably smarter than he looks. But we'll open this wall and you'll be able to uh, set down another, another freeze platform. And then, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised. There is nothing down here in this little alcove. I really thought there was. Uh, last time I played through this, it, it's been a while. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing in this alcove. It's mostly just a uh, platform to get you up over in, uh, over towards that, uh, other platform. The one up here. And this is a platform you need to go on to continue, because there is a panel that needs to get hacked here. This is one that, uh... If we'd come up on this landing before, this uh, door uh, right next to the panel is closed and there's no way to hack it from where you're standing. But after you hack the panel, the door opens, and the uh, that thing falls down, which gives us access to uh, the other area. There is a Catwoman trophy on the bottom of this grate, but uh, nothing we can do about that. So we are going to take care of another trophy. Remember that... Uh, vent cover we pulled off a little bit earlier, couldn't do anything about? Well, you have to launch a electrified battering in there, take it over to the right, and it lowers down those bars. We head across the area here. There is one immediately obvious Riddler trophy, but it's not so easy to grab. We just have to move this minecart out of the way with a little bit of uh, electricity, and should be good to go. One more Harley head to blow up, and uh, one more thug on the way to our uh, way forward. Oh God, it's you! I'm sorry. It's all right. You're safe. You're lucky. I could have killed you with this thing. Believe me, Doctor. When someone takes a swing at me with a pipe, they don't get the chance to apologize. What's been happening? I did what you said. I stayed out of sight and kept an eye on what they were up to. They've been placing things on the floor in the next room. I don't know what they are. Sounds like Joker's trying to stop me with mines. Will it work? Do I look worried? Worried? No. Sick? Very. You look terrible. Don't worry about me. Get back to wherever you've been hiding. I'll deal with the mines. Nope. Misclick. Anyway, you can definitely get hit by that pipe, but I don't recommend it. And then she said, not even with yours. That's funny, man. <laughs> and then what? Did she do it? Of course she did. I mean, look at me. I'm gorgeous. That thug's armed with proximity okay. mines. He looks better, right? It's a freaking miracle. Yesterday, he looked like crap. Today, the real Joker's back. Thank God, man. I mean, who the hell wants Harley in charge? Between you and me, she's nuttier than he is. Oh. Huh? Uh-oh. Messed up a little bit there. I'll cover the door! So, yeah. Uh... These mines, you can blow them up. I know what you're doing, and it ain't gonna work! 
I was going to start like, mentoring that thug, but I didn't want to. But uh, these guys with the mines, once they become alerted, they will walk around and set up those mines pretty regularly. I like to take them out as soon as possible, just because the mines don't go down. Apparently these thugs are really upset about me having used the uh, gargoyle once. I uh, kind of messed up and swung to it while the guy was currently scanning it. And then of course if you, well, scan away from it, or swing away from it while it's being scanned, you're still going to get spotted. The only time you can really be safe while it's being scanned is by standing completely still. Yeah, still getting shot at. Yeah, this one gets a, li a little bit closer than I'd like, but uh, I make it out no problem. How are you going to use those things if they're not here? Is that the sound of one of your faces hitting something odd? I hope so. You heard the boss! A thug down here with the mines is looking pretty lonely, so I'll keep him some company. I know what you're doing, and it ain't gonna work. And that'll take care of all the mine layers. Won't take care of the mines, they're still active. But uh, we can still blow up more of those if we were if I uh blah blah blah. If you really want to. Just got lucky with taking this guy down. I see what you're doing. How are you gonna use those things if they're not here? And there's only a few left to kill. Well, take down. I actually get pretty lucky with my placement here. Uh, I was kind of wondering how to take these guys down, but then they all wound up going towards uh, the same thug. And it sounds like a perfect opportunity for a smoke bomb to me. The only wrinkle on the plan is one of these thugs has thermal goggles. Thermal goggles, uh, well, they'll counteract smoke. So, what I'll do instead is, uh, I'll go ahead and smoke him. But uh, I'll I'll throw the uh, freeze grenade at the guy with the uh, guy with the glasses. You know, and make things pretty easy, right? He's making us look stupid. How's he doing it? Leave him. We've got more. What the hell? So with him taken care of, we just have to uh, take out the other two, and we'll be good to go. Don't dare lie to me. I'll know. <sighs> Please, this is all I know. Thank you. Well, that was terribly disappointing, wasn't it? Still, look on the bright side. I'm feeling much better. How about you? Those mines do still stay active even after you finish the Predator Room, so, uh... Be careful with that. I thought there was a trophy here. There's not. Just this one. But yeah, the mines do stay active even after you've uh, finished the map, so just be careful not to run into them. They do a pretty hefty chunk of damage. Uh, but yeah, there is a challenge for taking care of a uh, thug with a ice trap. Uh, it's it's a loud takedown, so you know be careful with that. If you don't want to attract any attention, you don't want to use the ice. But it's still a pretty darn useful thing to have. If we look over here on the wall, we'll find, uh, once again, Dr. Quinzel has put her uh, doctorate of psychology degree on the wall. I guess she's really proud of it, maybe? I mean, yeah, it's quite an achievement, even if the uh, result didn't turn out so good. There's a Catwoman trophy up here on the ceiling. Um, I want to say when Catwoman comes back through here, the guards are armed and everything, so it just means she'll have to put in a little work to take them down. But we pretty much exit the same way we came in the first time. Or, exit of the first time, rather. I hear you, buddy. How's it going? Are you ready, Wayne? It's all good. I'm in position. Room's mine. And if I see Batman... Boom! Hope you're right. That Joker looks like he's getting ready for a war. If Batman's out of the picture, we may actually win it. I worked out how to beat the Batman. This is the Gargoyles, right? I just need to take them out too. Boom! Batman's on the ground, and I'm putting a bullet through his brain. Nice. Let me know where you stand. I want to come down there and have a little fun with the corpse. Get in line. I'm having the mask. You can have what's left. 
while this thug is ex exhibiting a dangerous amount of competence, he's failing to account for the mines wouldn't be beeping if somebody was close to him. Uh, if, uh, if he'd already finished his conversation by then, he would have mentioned something like that mine must be defective. But, uh, you know, I, uh, I don't think I like the thugs being this smart. I, I think no I need to take care of this guy. Man getting across this room alive. There are a bunch of mines down here on the floor as well, and normally I would just, uh, you know, shove around these cars, take care of it, but... Yeah. Nothing I can do about it, because the generator is broken after the first time I moved the cars, so that's inconvenient. But, uh, despite the life being so incredibly low, eh, we'll still make it. Just picking up this trophy from way back, and we'll continue on our merry way. Just be careful not to step on any more mines. She's not going to tell us anything. No point in uh, letting her scream about it, right? Yeah, that's fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, like she said, that's where we'll find our last gadget. Uh, so I'm actually going to head down there first before we head out to our uh, fated confrontation with the Joker. There's another trophy here on the right that we had to pass up our first time through because we didn't have what we needed to hack it. But now that we have the Gotham Municipal Codes, we can open up this gate and grab that trophy no problem. You heard all that Protocol 10 pull that Strange has been stopping? What the hell's his problem? Didn't he give us these guns in the first place? Yeah, I thought he wanted the Joker to win. Me too, but don't you think that's kind of crazy? Who spends billions of dollars building a prison and then gives everyone guns? You got a point. Hey, you weren't at the asylum, were you? Well, I was, man. Old Sharpie was weird too. Just like Strange. Yeah, I heard a bunch of patients died under his supervision. You shouldn't listen to gossip, man. No way is Quincy some kind of avenging psychiatric angel. Have you seen him? He looks like an idiot. Sure, he's an idiot. But he convinced an entire city to build this place, didn't he? And he hired Strange, who gave us military-grade weapons. So what are you saying? I'm saying I didn't trust Sharp. I don't trust Strange. And I don't like this. Not one bit. There's two ways to take out these snipers. One is to, uh, well, pull their guns away from them. Because, you know, not much you can do with your guns downstairs. The other way is to uh, grapple up to that area and uh, just do a double ledge takedown. It's entirely possible. The reason I opted for the uh, for the generator is uh, in New Game Plus, all of these thugs are armed. So, getting their guns away from them is pretty important. You can't do a takedown after they're alerted. So you just have to go up and uh, say hi. All these arrows kind of speak to say, well, maybe you should go this way, but we've got shiny shit to pick up, so I'm not going to go that way yet. There is uh, one trophy I want to pick up. Well, two trophies, actually. And uh, then I'm actually going to cut the video to make sure this doesn't get uh, too long. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not a race, it's an endurance run. You actually could have gotten this first trophy pretty much as soon as we came through this area. Uh, you just gotta swing that hook back and forth and come in here. But there's a second trophy down here you need the line launcher to grab. And the last time we could come in here with the line launcher is, well, right now. So you gotta go across this lob area and, well, lava hot. So, pick it up, everyone's happy. There's also a Catwoman trophy, because uh, Catwoman can go across the ceiling here. And, you know, well, you gotta give Catwoman things to do too, right? Go ahead and grab another uh, ballistic armor upgrade. Just because, you know, getting shot is bad. 
And uh, then we'll make our way back upstairs. And uh, as soon as I enter these doors, I'm going to cut the video. Please stay tuned for another Mr. Freeze interview tape, and I'll see you next time when we finally take on the Joker. I had worked without sleep for a week. My needs didn't seem important. Sleep didn't matter. Food didn't matter. It was only her. I looked at Nora, and I told her that I loved her. She told me there was nothing I could do, that I, we, should just accept fate. She smiled her beautiful smile as she said it. I promised to cure her, and then I pressed the button. You cryogenically froze her, keeping her on ice, so to speak, while you worked on a cure. It broke your heart, but now you had all the time in the world. Did you feel relieved? I went home and fell into a deep sleep. For the first time since we discovered Nora's illness, I dared to dream. But for weeks I had ignored my superior's attempts to contact me. The next morning I overslept. And by the time I got to the lab, Ferris Boyle, the CEO, was there waiting. What did he do? He accused me of industrial espionage, which I denied. But then his guards found Nora. Boyle told me that, like all of my research, she belonged to him. I was enraged. I attacked him. His guards beat me back, and in the struggle, I was drenched by the cryogenic chemical I had created. I lay on the floor, helpless, watching the guards steal Nora away. Boyle told me it was a tragedy for such a promising mind to perish in a lab accident. Then he left me to die. But you survived. The chemicals were absorbed into my body and transformed my metabolism. My body went numb. I felt a strange tingling, then searing pain all over. Each breath ignited my lungs. I clawed my way back to a refrigeration unit, and as I closed the door behind me, I felt the icy chill calm my aching body. Things suddenly seemed clear. What seemed clear? Finding a cure for Nora? No. Revenge. Boyle would pay. <laughs>